Okay, so you want to learn how you can stream directly from your Xbox console over to Kick. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can achieve that goal. Let's get started. Okay, so in order for you to be able to do this, you are going to need to have a computer. It doesn't matter if it's a laptop, it doesn't matter if it's a PC or uh, like a regular desktop. You just need to have a computer to be able to run OBS Studios or Streamlabs OBS. If you are on a laptop, I just recommend downloading the 32 bit of OBS Studios and Streamlabs OBS. Or if you have a PC or a high end desktop, then you can go ahead and download the 64 bit of OBS Studios or Streamlabs OBS. And then once you have those downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to head on over to the Xbox app. Okay, so we are now officially inside of the Xbox companion app. So what you're going to do is you can tell if this works. Obviously, you see my screen moving. I'm using the controller to actually move around. Uh, and you can tell if it works. If I just go into Modern Warfare 2, you can see that the game shows. So what we're going to do from here, now we know that everything's working. We're going to go ahead and exit out of Modern Warfare. We're going to go back over to OBS Studios. So that way we can go ahead and add the game into our stream. Okay, so once you bring up OBS Studios, what's going to happen here, because this is going to be your first time um, inside of OBS, if this is your first time, you're not going to see any scenes and you're not going to see any sources. So you're going to come down here, you're going to click on the little plus icon to basically create you a scene. I already named mine as Xbox Stream Tutorial for just for the sake of this video, but then you're going to come up and you're going to add a source. So we're going to click on this plus icon. We're going to come up to Game Capture. We're going to... I'm going to leave this alone, but you can name this as Xbox or whatever it is you want to add. Um, and then we're going to click OK. We're then going to select this, capture a specific window, come down to Windows, and then we're going to click on Xbox PC app. Once you click on that, you will see that it automatically pops up. So we're going to click OK. Now, you'll notice that there is no audio. Let's full size that. You'll notice that there's no audio here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on settings. You're going to come over to uh, audio and you're going to change your desktop audio to default. That will just basically bring up the, you know, the sound that's coming from your desktop. And so you will basically can tell now at this point that the sound bar is moving and that's because it's capturing the audio from the Xbox. So once you've done that, the last thing that you just need to do is head over to kick. Okay. So we're now inside of kick. So we're going to come up here. We're going to click on settings and then it will automatically bring up your stream key. And then what you'll do is you'll just copy your stream key and you're going to bring this over to OBS. So come here, go to settings, go to stream. And inside of your stream key section, you're going to basically just paste your stream key. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back over to kick. You're going to copy the stream URL. You're going to minimize that and you're going to come up here to the server and you're going to basically just paste it there as well. For the service, you want to make sure that it's set to custom. You're going to click apply and you're going to click OK. That will basically ensure that you will be streaming to kick whenever you press this start record button down here. All right, so just like that, as stated earlier, that's all you really need to do to get started on kick from your Xbox. If you guys found this helpful, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, as well as Instagram because I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you guys want to come and say hello, make sure you guys go ahead and do that as well. My Discord is also in the link below if you guys have any questions or if there's any other videos you guys want me to make. But that is all for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace, guys.